Welcome to another video. Today we're going to have a look back on 2021. So it's been quite a busy year. Um, lots of new tracks. Um, lots of new friends have made at those tracks. Lots of different championships. And yeah, I've learned a lot as well this year. So in this video, we're going to be looking back at um, what I've achieved this year. I mean, last year, I mean. Jeez, I'm getting confused now last year and yeah let's see what we can find so total karting let's start it off with total karting so this was an awesome experience to do this these are basically racing carts here um but with big electric motors attached to them um yeah they're amazing to drive um in this video they might look like my cart's not very good uh, as you see the toe was out, but I got it, I asked the mechanics and they were very nice and they managed to fix it. And then the car was all good. So what I'd say is, um, I did it at Thruxton, Thruxton karting track. I did two races there until it got too expensive. So stopped doing it, but it, mean, it meant I got my own race suit as like an extra present, I guess, to so I can race here. Um, so yeah, these carts do about 50 miles an hour. My average speed around the track was about 48 or 49 miles an hour, which is really quick. Um, as if you think like the carts, rent, normal rental carts max out at like, let's say if you go like Buckmore in the junior carts, they're about uh, 35, 36 now. Um, but yeah, I would highly recommend it if you ever get the chance to do it. They, they do it as the reward for doing well in the BIKC for juniors and cadets now. My little brother just came third in that, so hopefully we we'll should be able to go back here for a race or two. That would be awesome if that happens, so yeah, definitely recommend it. Awesome. So on to Brentwood karting now. But before Brentwood, I was... Um, all right, I mean, I was pretty quick, but I was never in at the front of the pack. But since I've done more and more races and got lots more practice, I've got quite a lot quicker over this year, past year. Um, yeah, it's taught me a lot of skills of how to overtake, um, defend, lots of defending you have to do sometimes. And yeah, and now, as I'm speaking, next tomorrow I'm going to Brentwood um, for the seventh or eighth round of this season, the winter season, and I'm in third place currently. So that's my aim: try and get a podium in the championship this time around. And if I do, that'll be a really good success for me. Um, and yeah, I really like Brentwood as well because it's got lots of good competition there like there's lots and lots of good drivers so you're never leading the pack by like a mile unless you have like an OP car but that doesn't really happen much anymore um, but yeah had some really great battles here made lots of new friends and yeah really great track um, yeah definitely go to it if you can right on to Daytona now um, yeah, I really enjoyed this championship actually. Um, well, I did a little bit of the championship before. Um, so like, I think it was, I started going here in like late 2020 or early 2021. I can't really remember. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed that they did three different circuit types. So they did, um, the normal GP circuit, which has very got a very very long back straight, um, the alternate reverse, which you you are seeing right now, my favourite track, and the alternate, which is like the alternate reverse but not reversed. Um, so yeah, it's been I look. This is where I learned all my defending skills from Daytona. It's like sometimes the carts can be a little bit inconsistent, but. Um, yeah, but then when you get them, you just have to defend for like 20 minutes straight and see what happens. So in this race, you're seeing now, I get an average car and just pull away. But that's the thing. 
I wish Daytona had a if we had like sort of Brentwood karting pace drivers there and Sodi karts that would make for a very very cool uh, combination so like sometimes just like this I'm just driving along like mainly in the time I wouldn't get an amazing quali I mean I might come first but not by, by barely anything and then in the race um, I just pull away or I just have to defend I like defending more because then it's a bit more fun but um, it just got a little bit by the end of the season it just got a little bit meh because I won eight races in a row and it was kind of getting a bit yeah boring not boring it was still really fun driving the circuit but yeah but I made lots of new friends here like Frederick um, check out his YouTube channel I'll put a link just above um, but yeah I would definitely recommend this recommend this place yeah just um, great fun track to drive on um, but yeah really fun place to go to definitely recommend it so now moving on to team sport which is the final segment of this video um, yeah it's been a bit of a journey um, before 2021 I was still in the cadet carts um, but yeah, I guess yeah, it only just started I didn't know about it um, then in 2021 I moved up to the junior carts which are a lot quicker and a lot more competitive than the cadets um, yeah tried to do the BIKC got to the regionals but then got knocked out which was a shame but yeah there was just some crazy hard competition there um, um, now at Crawley I've got the lap record there which is pretty awesome this video is quite an old one so I wasn't too quick um, but yeah team sport all the team sport every there's not one like terrible team sport track like there's always something good about every track there and the, the staff are usually always really nice at all these team sport tracks um, but yeah definitely you should go, you should always go to a team sport track first I'd say it's a good place to start karting because you can start off at any you can be very competitive at the start or you can be very um a beginner when you start because there's lots of different um types not I wouldn't say types like levels of driver ability there so yeah definitely recommend going to any team foot track um yeah um and that brings us to the end of the video um thanks for watching um once again just to say thanks for 100 subscribers um that's a really cool achievement to have and now i'm way past 100 subscribers it's been a bit late uploading this video because lots of different ideas going through my head and some of them not turning out properly but this one seemed a pretty good idea to me um so thank you for supporting me so much and yeah hopefully there should be some more cool videos like this to come so right um remember to like share uh, you're probably already subscribed so so um but yeah see you soon guys and see you in the next video bye